Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about glass protectors. Specifically, in my opinion, one of the best options that we can get for our Galaxy S21 line of devices. Now I've been using them with other Samsung devices for quite some time so I know that their product is actually made out of high quality glass. But not only that, it actually stays there and it's actually a full adhesive glass. So today we're going to check out two different kits that they sent me, one made specifically for the Galaxy S21 and then of course one made specifically for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. This is TK and this is the Whitestone Dome Glass for our Galaxy S21 line of devices. Let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So the package that I got from them includes a few things. Uh, first thing obviously we'll notice is that we have a kit made specifically for the S21 Plus, S21, and of course the biggest one is going to be for the S21 Ultra as we actually have a new method of installing the glass on this one. Uh, the two for the S21 and S21 Plus for the most part is the exact same setup. Uh, it's a two pack for each as well as the top one. It's also a two pack which is really nice and it allows us to actually have uh, a secondary piece of glass to be able to install it later on. Now they also include the glass protectors for the uh, camera sensors on the back. Now the good thing about this one is they sent me two but it actually the S21 Plus works the exact same way on the S21 and of course the one made for the S21 Ultra works perfectly there. And of course they also included their new line of devices which essentially are cushions or cleaning mats that you're able to basically leave on the back of your device and we'll get a chance to check them out. Now the process for installation on the Galaxy S21 Ultra is a little bit different as we now have that mechanism or that kind of a sliding mechanism that includes a, a spinning top. Uh, the overall process is very simple. You mount the phone from the bottom now as opposed to just inserting it. And of course as long as you clean it, put the glass and follow the instructions that we have in here, everything else works out pretty good. Now at the end of the installation, this is where the curing comes in with the light, with the UV light that they include in the box. Uh, my recommendation would be to do 15 seconds on the top, middle and bottom to allow the curing to go pretty well. And then once you remove the device from the actual packaging, you can also do another, which essentially is the 60 seconds for the top, middle and bottom. That's pretty much it as far as the actual installation process, clean off any excess adhesive that you may see on the side. And at this point, we need to turn on a couple of features. The first thing we need to do is the high sensitivity or basically in turning on high sensitivity options under the display in your settings. And that allows the actual uh, response on the display to be almost as exactly the same without having it on. And of course, we do need to re-register our fingerprints, even though they do work after the installation, it is recommended to just re-register them. And they work pretty simply and very nicely, actually. The overall experience is very nice. Now, when it comes down to those glass protectors that they gave us for the lenses on the back, yes, the new material that we have on the back is different than before. It's no longer just glass on glass, but the elements for the actual lenses are still exposed. So this actually gives us the ability of having a much nicer protection on the front and on the back. Since we have cases to cover most of our back, generally the camera lenses or the camera area is the only one that's exposed, and this allows us to actually keep it covered. Uh, works really nice. My recommendation would be is to install it with a case on so that it aligns itself quite nicely. And of course, keep an eye out whenever you're buying cases to make sure that they have an the backing entirely open. So anything that covers the actual back or the camera area, unfortunately, is not going to be supported. Now, when it comes over to the Galaxy S21, the installation is a little bit different. We don't have any mechanism system the way we have it on the S21 Ultra. Everything pretty much works the same way we've done it in the past. You insert your device, you clean the display, you make sure it's clean. And then, of course, you make sure you need to be in a level dust free environment to be able to get the best installation. Once you're done, do the exact same situation. You do 15 seconds on the top, middle and bottom to get the initial curing. And of course, after that, you do the full 60 seconds, top, middle, bottom, and then you pretty much set. Turn on high sensitivity touch sen uh, option in the settings. And of course, make sure you re-register your fingerprints and everything else will work the exact same way. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, the glass element protection works the exact same way on the S21 as well as the S21 Plus, since they have the same setup in the back. So overall, if you're looking to be able to protect your device, uh, Whitestone Dome Glass provides you the ability of protecting the front and the back. And of course, accompanied with a case, you should be able to actually use most of these since they're actually case friendly. Now, they don't necessarily cover the entire front of the device. They give a little bit of a clearance around the edges so that you're able to use cases. So they should be able to work with almost any cases as I'm showing you guys right now. They work very nicely. And again, with the glass elements on the back, just make sure that the case that you're purchasing or you're using doesn't cover the elements on the back and we should be pretty good. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of us are wondering how durable or how long do these things last? Um, if they don't get damaged or for any reason your device doesn't fall down, obviously damaging the glass itself, it, they will actually last almost as long as you'd like them. I've had it on my S20 uh, Ultra that I've had since last year and haven't had a damage since. And of course, I have a case on the back as well as the glass element protection that they offer for that as well. 
the main thing that I want to mention to you guys is obviously if your device falls down on the ground, uh, the cases that we get are intended to absorb that damage. And of course, they will get a little bit of scuffing on them, but the device is protected. The glass element, uh, well, the glass uh, shield that we have on the front as well as on the back is intended to do so. So if your phone or anything falls on the ground and they crack, that's the whole purpose. You protected your main device display. And of course, at that point, just remove it. And because this is a two pack and because Whitestone allow us to have enough, um, I would say installation material to actually do two different installations, that actually works really nice for us. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, you're not gonna be basically stuck having to buy an entire whole setup. Uh, and they do sell the actual glass elements by themselves as in a refill. So make sure to keep the kit for the device that you have. You're able to basically just get the glass at a much cheaper price. Um, I do wanna say thank you very much to Whitestone for providing me the entire kit that we saw in here. Again, for the S21, S21 Plus and the S21 Ultra. Of course, the glass element protection on the back and the new uh, little uh, sponges that they have, the custom cushions that they have on the back. Uh, if you like to use those, they're very nice. They stay on the back of your, uh, your device and you're able to clean your device with them and then put it back on the back. Uh, not necessarily something that I found very helpful for me, but definitely this may be something for you. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.